I'm a double O. It takes. And I totally agree. But how could this 007 agent, carrying out a world saving mission in Madagascar back in 2006, possibly be serviced by a watch that's yet to be released six years into the future? That's one screwed up timeline, I must say, and one that works better in a plot more like this rather than the Casino Royale Association that some wise watch nerd convinced some of us to believe. I can't and will never by any chance be able to afford any of these. So a $25 watch with what I thought at the time of purchase had legitimate ties with the movie excited me with the thought that I could finally get myself one of those cool bond natos and wear it with dignity in a room full of watch collectors. But the AE1200's catchy claim to the Bond franchise appears to be nothing more than that, catchy. It never starred in this 2006 movie nor this parody from 1967, or in any other Bond movie that I know of. Okay, so it shares some similar design cues with Roger Moore's Seiko G757 from an older Bond film. Specifically, this futuristic display which works as an Anadigi time display for the Casio, a stopwatch on the Seiko, and as a tracking device for the tech-savvy agent in that old movie. So if that's all to the hype, wouldn't this be the more appropriate moniker? Or, if that doesn't sound so polite to you, why don't we just build our own case on why this cheap watch deserves the Casio Real story at the least. So what exactly does a double O need to be? Typical Casio construction here, resin case, resin band in this variant, and a stainless steel case back held in place by four standard screws. A rubber gasket behind this case back ensures 100 meters of water resistance. In my opinion, the AE1200 should be just as serviceable as any G-Shock in most practical scenarios. It features the 3299 module which according to Casio should keep the time accurate to within around 15 seconds per year. As an added convenience is the module's 10 year battery life which makes me totally dismiss any wishes for solar charging technology. The watch features 5 alarm settings, a 24 hour countdown timer, a stopwatch, and look at this, a really usable backlight. The AE1200 can readily display the time for 31 different time zones. You simply press this button here to get into the world timer feature, then use this button to cycle through 48 different cities. And while doing so, treat yourself to the display window on top that should highlight your current settings corresponding location on the world map. This round display window over here should now give you an anadigi readout of your local time and pressing these two buttons together should allow you to swap those two time zones between this window and your main display. Despite the trickery behind my purchase of this watch, I can't disagree that it does have its charm. Some may see the retro aspect in its design, which I also do, but for me, the AE1200 is a G-Shock with more refined looks and case proportions. It would at least look marginally better with the suit compared to any other current G-Shock in the market. You know what? I actually could have saved myself the trouble of having to go through all those features and laid this out instead. Casio did us all a favor by shooting all those features on the face of this watch like they always do. I actually was about to give it a double O distinction if not for this design decision, breaking one very fundamental trait of an elite secret agent. Just imagine your favorite James Bond reporting for an undercover mission in a suit that's fully adorned with all his credentials in military training, martial arts, marksmanship, explosive training, parkour practice, card counting, deep sea diving, yada yada yada. Not so ideal I suppose, but hey, that would open up the possibility for another movie connection right? Hope you all enjoyed. Please support the channel by subscribing.